It's crazy. We're having like a second premiere. When has the show ever had two premieres in one year? It's so weird. Um, I can't wait for everyone to see the story, the new, uh, what happens. I say new because you can't predict where this show is going. And I already know, but I kind of forgot. But I, I know there's lots of great stuff happening that you can't even picture. There's a character coming along, a new character, a scenario that's so cool. And it's played by one of the great actors of our day. I won't tell you. The variety of the part. You know, there's scenes where I play pure comedy in, as Saul, and then there's scenes that are pretty intense drama. And they're, sometimes they're a page apart on the script. There's just not many parts that are written with this much dynamics in them. I think they'll find it very surprising and satisfying. It's not the end of Breaking Bad. It's a different choice uh, that fits this story as it's told. Um, the two shows are similar and different. And, uh, and the ending that they've chosen and written for Better Call Saul is perfect for Better Call Saul. My friends, Ray Seahorn, Patrick Fabian, Michael Mando, Jonathan Banks, uh, Tony Dalton, uh, John Carlo Esposito, just this cast is the best. I'm at a I'm at a gravestone and I'm pretending to be sad and I say boo hoo. <laughs> <laughs>